Hello, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. OneWeb has completed its initial satellite constellation. On Sunday, March 26, the Indian Space Research Organization conducted its second orbital launch this year, launching 36 OneWeb satellites aboard the GSLV Mark III rocket from the Satish Haven Space Center. The satellites were launched into a circular orbit at an altitude of 1,200 km with an inclination of 86.4 degrees toward the equator. The flight was the sixth for GSLV Mark III class launch vehicle and the second flight with a OneWeb payload after the successful OneWeb launch in October 2022. The GSLV Mark III rocket is comparable to launch vehicles such as the Atlas V and Ariane 5 with two stages and a pair of large solid propellant boosters. The first stage uses two liquid propellant engines, while the upper stage has one liquid propellant engine uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as fuel. Prior to the launch, OneWeb had 578 active broadband satellites in orbit. This mission, the ATS for OneWeb, brings the number of active satellites to 614. The company said that figure crosses the threshold of 588 satellites needed to provide broadband services around the world, which the company mainly targets the enterprise, transportation and government sectors. OneWeb satellites weigh about 150 kg each, and the spacecraft must link up with ground stations to provide services, since there are no inter-satellite links for these spacecrafts. Also, the satellites are equipped with a magnetic pickup that will allow the future spacecraft to latch onto them to bring them down from orbit. By the way, OneWeb is planning more launches this year. A second-generation demonstration satellite will be launched this summer on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with 15 first-generation spare satellites. If all goes according to plan, OneWeb engineers will conduct a test campaign and begin providing broadband services worldwide by the fourth quarter of 2023.